Hello everyone, happy January 18th. My name is Monica, I'm a special education teacher in Wisconsin. It is Tuesday. We had school yesterday, Martin Luther King Day. I don't know why my chin is red. And then we have school today, we have school tomorrow, and then we have, oh, there goes my pile. We have professional development days on Thursday and Friday, and then a work day on Monday because our report cards are due Wednesday, I think, in the middle of the week or something next week. So three days off coming soon. So I thought that I would get ahead on all of the cutting because there's also a Teachers Pay Teacher Sale going on right now. I have no idea how long it goes for because I'm not like a seller, so I don't know that sort of thing. I just know that it's happening right now. Just thought I would show you guys everything I bought from the sale. Um, and then I have to go to Target as well. And I need to get things for our news to you recipe for tomorrow or making smoothies so that you guys could just come and hang out with me. And also some of these have boom cards associated with them if I forget to mention them. If you're interested in any of the links, I'll try to link all the products down below if I forget someone harass me. So here's all the black and white things. I got these January cutting practice pages, a dollar, Froggy's Little Learners. Have some kids that are working in fine motor in my class so i got two copies for them one copy for my um like hard copy book sort through my million teachers paid teacher files because i have accumulated quite a few this is my fifth year teaching so i have a lot i teach k through five so i have six grades of students and i have a lot of materials that go with them all these go with the right the room activity that's in my classroom this is a valentine's day book i really enjoy it has the dots so the kids can follow along as they read it has several versions there's a colored version and they also have the version with the dots too but i like the dot version um this is an entire monthly unit that has like five shapes per month from the simple sweetness it's a paper tear craft so i'll give them like blue and purple tomorrow and we'll tear up the papers and we'll glue it on there these are some sight word readers that i will do with my fourth graders so not only are we identifying the sight words but we're also sequencing them right here we have some digraphs coloring all of this it won't be happening like this coming week. A lot of this I just printed for in the future so I don't forget about it because that is something I struggle with with Teachers Pay Teachers, especially the sale days, is there's so many products that I've recently bought and that I just forget why I got them that if I have it printed, I know it's sitting in a pile in my room that I'll come discover it later and be like, oh yeah, I was gonna use this. I'm probably gonna forget that I have bought this and I will be like, man, I need a quick craft. What could I do? And I'll have forgotten that I've gotten this. So maybe I'll remember when I'm uh, looking at this video in the future. And then this one I'm gonna do with my first graders. It's like a simpler version of this, more coloring and tracing of those sight words, mark a dot. So this one, the dots are kind of farther apart and then they have other versions where they're bigger and closer together just to accommodate for different learners. This one are also the Davers, but these are for number identification. I have a lot of students that could use some help with writing our teen numbers and just finding them. And the Dabbers are really fun. It's easy for like a five minute filler activity. And then this is also a cutting and coloring craft. So you color the donut and then you cut it out. Um, for my two friends, it has all sorts of pictures. This is fun activities at home.com, but I got it on teacher pay teacher. So yeah, lots of black and white. These ones are not on sale. Um, this one is 50% off because it just came out today. So it's a morning tub with a dinosaur theme. And I have a bin up there that's dinosaurs. And I have several boys that love dinosaurs and I just need more dinosaur lizardy snake type things. So that's perfect. Um, some more Valentine's activities because I'm ready to get in the mood for Valentine's Day. I'm done with January in the cold. And then I'm going to try these lesson plans in Vans by Daily Slides for Station. Right now, my stations are on a Google Excel sheet and it's just not very cute to look at. And also like I know what station the kids are in and the paras know now, but it's not as like kid friendly as I would like it to be. And I'd like them to have like more ownership over what they're doing. So I'm going to try out that and see if that makes it a little bit easier. And that has the timer on the slide. So that'll be nice. So here's everything I bought from the TPT sale that is in color that I've already printed. So these are the recording sheets for the read and write around the room. So it's some of its numbers, some of its shapes, some of its subtraction. And those are the ones that go with this. These read and write the rooms are on the recording sheet that was in the room that has the square in the corner like that. This is tractor boom cards actually, and this was not on the TPT sale, but I printed out the boom card version of these. Did you know you can print out boom cards just for some additional number recognition practice with the student? And then the same student is also working on making his letters and you actually take a little tractor, like a Hot Wheels size car, and you drive it on the tracks to practice like how you would form your letters. This is an adapted Valentine's book, so like cut the side off because um, like you want to be able to see this part. 
and then the WH questions. A whole bunch. Some of my kids, like, if I ask what the color is the sun, they're just like, purple! Like, they're not even thinking. Like, I want to be able to have the choices there for them. It's really late at night. My room is, you know, in need of some help, especially this area. But three days of teacher work days coming this week. That's my goal. Clean up this disaster. Get all my stuff prepped. Besides, like, the main PD day, there's, like, two work days that the Paris have. So I'm going to have a million things for them to do. And that's what I, I guess I like. I hate when people are looking for things to do. And it's hard for me to give them tasks because, like... I can't have somebody else clean up my mess or I can't have somebody else write my IEPs for me, but I can have them print and Velcro and laminate all of the things. Another off track um, moment of my brain. So these Ferrero Rocher containers, I'm asking if anyone gets these like as a Valentine that they collect them for me because I have these cotton balls and I'm working on color sorting with a student. So like putting the blue cotton ball in with the blue, putting the yellow cotton ball why am I calling these cotton balls? Pom-pom. Putting the yellow pom-pom in with the yellow. So we're starting with just these, like this very basic. The student medically has a lot going on. So um, color sorting is his only academic goal. And we've been working on it for 30 minutes a day since the beginning of the school year. And we are slowly, slowly making some progress. We just need a large assortment of things to do with him. So that's just one more thing I'm going to try out. And so like once we've mastered this... We'll move on to the bigger um, container. I'm hoping that a lot of my teacher friends get these or um, like family members can collect them for me because I also would love to buy like two packs of stickers at the Dollar Tree. So let's say, so like let's say this fire truck, I would put the sticker of this fire truck here and then I would also have a laminated copy of that fire truck. So then that student could match my um, laminated stickers to the stickers that are stuck in the container to just practice more matching with symbols that he prefers. Obviously, I would not do something holographic because this is a lot to look at, but you get the gist. Also, this beauty. Yes, this is my school picture. Um, I missed the actual school picture day for some reason. And then I did retakes, which was in December. And I wear holiday clothing every single day of December. So here we have my school picture. Me and a Santa sweater saying, ho, ho, ho. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I need to corral all of my things. Clean up the table so the janitors can spray. Cause we're living in a pandemic. Bye Rona, don't want you here. As you can see, I still have things from the last time I was laminating that I haven't even gotten to. But this is just like how my brain works. I just have things all over. And I use lots and lots of binder clips to corral all of my things. Maybe one day I'll have a bigger classroom to store all of my things in. Seems like my numbers of kids qualifying is only going up. Baby snowman, chunky snowman. There's supposed to be a 60 degree difference between today and tomorrow. I think today the high was like 20 something, so that's warm enough that the roads tend to melt. I think tomorrow we start the morning a good old negative 15. Love it. And I'm gonna be honest guys, it's eight o'clock at night. Some people try to keep a work-life balance, but I'm gonna be honest. A lot of the times I'm working the opposite shift of my fiance, so like, I don't have anything to do when I go home anyways besides lay in bed and watch TV. So I personally like putting in the time to get all my stuff printed before everybody else is here. Cause on these work days, like people are gonna be using the copier and the color printer and I've got everything ready to go now. I just have to have it laminated and get cutting. So I don't mind putting in a little bit of work after school to do that sort of thing. Now, if I was doing report cards, that'd be a whole different ball game. I don't wanna be at school till eight o'clock doing report cards. I wanna go to Target. They are remodeling my um, Starbucks in our Target for almost a month. Great bird poop right here. So yes, here we are. First Starbucks, then Target. So I'm pretty sure that blenders are cheap, like $10. And I have a Ninja blender at my house. And I really don't want to bring that because the blade is really sharp. So I figure if I can find a cheap blender, I'll just leave it at school. I already have a microwave at school that my class uses that we got from a different school when they were upgrading their staff lounge and we just got their leftover. Found a blender for 15, the shelf is empty. So the ladies gotta go in the back and find me my blender. 
So, 9.30 at night, here we are at Walmart. Um, they didn't have the blender I wanted, actually. It said that they had six, but they couldn't find any in the back. So, we're going to Walmart to see if I can find one. This says they have them, so we'll see. Also, um, I have a kid that, like, depends on saltine crackers, and everywhere I've looked, it's been out, so I'm hoping they restocked. So, I think my plan is going to be to grab my blender. Get that one. So, basically, my blender and I, we're going to go home and watch a show, which means... I don't have time to edit this video, which means let's make some of these tomorrow and I will attempt to film. We'll see what happens. Right, Mr. Blender? And uh, I used all this snow looking glitter. Probably should have the car. This kind, perfect for snow. So we're finishing up our news to you work on ice castles. All sorts of fun things. Did a little sight word sequencing activity. Read about some Arctic animals. We got a door decoration going on. I'm gonna try to draw either this one or this one on this white that'll go in the bottom part and then the kids can paint it and we'll do like their names and stuff. Here's the smoothie recipe. We've already done this part because you have to put the mixture into the Ziploc bag and then you have to freeze it for an hour. So we're already to this step. So when they're done with art, we're gonna do the whipped topping, AKA whipped cream. Pretty good for freehand. How much pineapple juice do we need? Flip it over, how much? So I did all the drawing, but I let the kids paint and you can see that um, I have to go over some of it. But I'm gonna finish it right now. Hello friends, and today I have to bend down because I'm a tall human being. Outfit of the day. My headband is from Brianna Cannon Official, something like that. I'll link it down below. Um, I pre-ordered mine and it is right now not available, but in case it is available, I'll link the page for you. My cardigan is a Walmart one, so fancy, doesn't have pockets, so that's a bummer. Shirt is Shop Caledonia Teacher Essentials. And then my jeans are Shein, little daisies with holes. My district is fine with whole jeans and uh, some very old brown Oaks. Cause it's cold outside. Here is the semi-finished product. Um, a lot of these, like I have to go over the yellow, I need to go over the black, but I'm gonna wait till all this red is dry and I can do that tomorrow. This, um, I'm gonna put the kids' names on other hearts around the door. So I'll just make sure a heart is covering this corner. Put this in about the icicles. And here's our icicles that we were making from these too. So there's a couple different kinds of glitter that we were using. And then we also did um, a paper tearing craft and the kid wrote my name online. <laughs> So Thursday, Friday, and then Monday, we have um, teacher development days or work days, just like report cards. And then we call it the Cardinal Conference. Just days for us to get our lives together and report card ready. And it'll be good to get the COVID cases down. Much like many schools, our COVID cases are kind of out of control. And um, personally, tomorrow we can work from home or from school just because it's all like virtual um, professional development anyways. But I will be here cleaning up this mess this mess this mess lots to do my friends so i'll most likely be filming because i think a lot of people are working from home tomorrow but i'll be here so yeah yeah and so we've got a lot of ground covered this is going to be as if you've ever attended one in the past it's rapid so I'm just waiting for my session over there to start, but I have these uh, stickers. So I've got some yellow handprints, blue handprints, red handprints. I have these blocks that I never use. So I think I'm gonna put a solid yellow stickers on top so that it's a plain background and put a solid sticker, sticker right there so that I can match. We'll see. Also, there's like a million things I'm supposed to be doing, but here I am. Cleaning. I mean, like there's hair and crumbs and all sorts of gunk, but I'm also making a mess and I'm still not cleaning up any of my existing messes. But I feel like that's what happens a lot of the times on professional development days that I just like seek out things <laughs> that really are not a priority to do, but I do it anyways. So the Monica life. So I ended up mod podging these and then I mod podged the cart. So it's still a little wet. So then kids can't just peel it out and they can't peel off the stickers. So we'll see if it works for my kids or it's too distracting. I have plenty of egg cartons to work with. If you have any other cool ideas, let me know. I've cleaned this corner. It looks nice, clean, organized, how it should be. And then there's the rest of my room. 
reality. The worst thing about it being five o'clock is the smart board and all of the computers automatically shut down. So the show I was just watching is over and it's not even worth it to put it back on because I will be leaving soon. Um, yeah, digging around looking for hearts for my door to write kids' names on, but all I'm finding is stickers and decor. So I'll stop by the Dollar Tree. Can't believe in this pile that I don't have it, but there's that. And then I'm arranging my Velcro tasks so I can have my parents help me with it tomorrow. Yes. So like this one's easy because the Velcro is already on there. Just have to find the right bag it goes with and then match the words, which can take a while. Everything's cut out and laminated. It just needs to be Velcro. My Velcro dots have not come, so we're using like the strips, which takes longer, but oh well. Such a productive day. I'm making lots of messes and going into piles that I haven't dealt with in a while, finding lots of paperwork that I've had in stacks since September, like the WCJ, I can't say the full name, but like these you're supposed to keep for my district's rule is seven years. When I'm done with WCJ testing, I just put it in a pile or in this. So I had a bunch from September I had to go through and whole punch and put in that binder. Um, I have like these old like bag crafts that take up a lot of room. I'm converting them into file folder activities. Just getting a lot of things done. My parents have been helping me Velcro. I did two IEPs today and I had a department meeting. I did some of my ordering for next year. Just a very productive Friday. So I'm going to head to McDonald's and go to Walmart and do my other job. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow on a Saturday because it's like negative 15. I don't have anything else better to do. And then I can just, you know, watch my shows, do some Velcro, you know, fun days. So three hours till I have to leave and uh, here's where we're at. Oh brother.